Hello, boys and girls. Guess what? I think it might be another time for a rinky tinky stinky thinky story. In fact, which one do you want to hear? That one? Oh boy, that's a good one. You mean Dinky in the Wax Museum? Okay. How does the story begin? Once upon a time. Rinky, Dinky, Stinky, and Thinky were in the living room. It was cold outside. They couldn't go outside. So they were playing in the living room, wrestling, throwing balls, shooting high fives, playing basketball. And then you know what happened? They accidentally started doing flip-flops and cartwheels and they knocked over a very, very big candle and it went <clears throat> and all of this wax came splattering out all over the couch and all over the floor. You ever do that? Well, they took one look at it and they thought, uh oh. We better get this cleaned up, said Dinky. And Stinky said, Oh boy, I'm, I'm not strong enough to move a couch and get a new couch. Hmm, and Rinky said, I'll just start praying right now that we get an idea. I'll pray, I'll pray. And then Thinky had an idea. You know, he's got that thinker. Do you have a thinker? Hmm, well, Thinky used his thinker. He goes, I got an idea. I know. We'll go down to the wax museum. You know, that big museum sometimes that mom and dad take us to? It has all those wax people in it. Big dolls that are made out of a waxy material. And they got dogs and cats and birds and butterflies and everything in there is made out of wax instead of wood or plastic. Let's go down there and maybe they can tell us how to get the wax off of the couch so we can fix this. So they put their coats on, put their shoes on, put their hats on, put their gloves on, and ran down to the corner. They opened the big door of the museum, and it was big. The ceiling was way up there, and the doors were ginormous. But they didn't care. They just started walking walking down one hall and another hall and another hall looking for someone that they could ask how do you get wax out of a couch and they saw a very big metal door you know what metal looks like kind of like your silverware this door was huge so big they could have had 10 of them on each other's shoulders standing head to head foot to foot and they wouldn't have been able to get to the top of the door. So Stinky said, hold on, I'll get it opened. And he pushed the door open and they went running inside, looked to the right and looked to the left and looked upside down and looked downside. Down, is that a word? Anyways, you know what they saw? They didn't see a worker man, but they saw a very big, gigantic, blue, Dragon! And he had pink wings. Pink wings? On a blue dragon? Hmm. Dinky said, i never seen pink wings on a blue dragon before. And Dinky said, I think I know why they're pink. And Stinky said, why? He says, because he doesn't have his fire out of his mouth yet. When he has his fire coming out of his mouth, his wings will turn red. Stinky said, where do you get this stuff from, Dinky? And he goes, just watch me, I'll show ya. And he went running over to where the dragon was and ran underneath his belly, looked up, and there was a hatch door. Yeah, a hatch door. And he pulled it down, and Dinky went running up the stairs, and inside of the belly of the dragon, he stood. Whoa, he said. This is a big dragon. Now 
Finky, Dinky, and Stinky didn't see him go running to where the belly of the dragon was, so they were still walking around the museum looking for Dinky, as usual. However, Dinky walked through the dragon, up his belly, up his neck, and on the inside of his big mouth, he saw his teeth. And then he thought, I bet his nose is up there. And this would be where the fire comes out. Hmm. I wonder how you get the fire to come out of this dragon. And he looked to the left. And he was looking to the right and all around. And you know what? He said, I got an idea. I think I got my magic fire candy balls in my pocket. You know, the ones I got in my Christmas stocking. I wonder if they can make some magic fire for me. And using his imagination... You know, everybody has an imagination. He decided to unwrap those fireballs and pound them down into the teeth of the dragon. And then he said, Abracadabra, make fire. And his imagination, you know what it did? It produced this very big fire, so big, so loud, so hot, that it melted all the wax. Oh no. The dragon was made out of wax. Now it's melting. Yikes! Pretty soon, the dragon's ears were melted. His face was melted. His mouth was melted. And then, Dinky said, Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm going to be underneath a big pile of melted wax pretty soon. So he hurried up and he ran. But you know what happened next? Not only did he have those two fireballs in his pocket, those candy fireballs we talked about that started the fire in the first place? He had five bags of popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. What kind of pop? Well, what happened is the hot, 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 hot heat from the fire popped all the popcorn, and it was going... <laughs> well, that was good for Dinky, because you know why? It popped him right out of the museum, right over the roof, right over the treetops, right onto his front porch. <sighs> and you know what he did next? He walked inside and he thought, I think I better go on the internet and find out how to clean up wax off the couch. The end.